Recently, many Zika virus outbreaks have been occurring. But what is a Zika virus and why does it pose a threat to us? First things first, Zika virus does not usually kill its infected hosts. Instead, it causes symptoms like headaches, red eyes, low-grade fever, soreness, and bodily rashes. But still, why are people making a big deal out of a virus that is non-life-threatening and causes some such minor symptoms? That's because the Zika virus could be linked to a genetic disorder called microcephaly, in which an infant is born with a smaller head circumference resulting in severe neurological defects. In order to fully understand the Zika virus, we have to take a look at its structure and function. The Zika virus is a flavivirus which enters in the host cell via endocytosis or the infolding of the cell membrane to take in food, metabolites, etc. Then, through a long and complicated process, the virus turns the cell into a virus factory. Now, the virus's hosts primarily include mammals such as humans, but also replication vectors such as mosquitoes and ticks. In fact, the Zika virus currently is being transmitted by mosquitoes. And finally, how does the Zika virus cause microcephaly and can it be prevented? In 2015, two fetuses had traces of the Zika virus's RNA detected in their anemotic layer, which is the protective fluid surrounding the fetus, indicating the virus crossed over the placenta and came into contact with the fetuses, causing a mother-to-child infection. However, despite the evidence from the two fetuses, major scientific organizations like the World Health Organization are still unsure about the link between microcephaly and the Zika virus. In fact, they themselves stated that there is no scientific proof. And last but not least, treatment. Unfortunately, there is no definite cure for the virus. Now, there are some self-treatment drugs like Advil, Benadryl, and Tylenol. However though, just like the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. If you are traveling to an area where the Zika virus is spreading, then be sure to wear long pants and shirts, and also put on mosquito spray. Also, if you are currently infected and you are planning to get pregnant or already are pregnant, then consult a doctor immediately. Also, don't be scared, with modern medical technology, a cure may soon be found. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe for more weekly science videos, and also, you can now support the interesting universe on Patreon.com.